life shifts tracks completely and you were headed, you know, everybody when they start a family thinks they're going to have this vision of a normal, healthy, happy family. And, you know, all that is, you know, flipped over. The pizza pie. Oh. Doctors diagnosed I'm Eliza with pie. San Filippo syndrome type A, a rare genetic condition. A cruel disease where starting around age six, children slowly lose their ability to speak, walk, and even swallow. Most children don't live past their teenage years. Not to be able to express when you used to be able to. Gosh, I just, I just can't imagine that for her. There is no cure, but there is groundbreaking gene therapy treatment, which could reverse the disease, giving the O'Neill family hope. The O'Neills are joining families across the nation in the fight for the nine-month miracle, a goal to raise $2.5 million over the next nine months to fund the final phase of research, the only chance the O'Neills have to see their little girl grow up. I know to getting into the trial um, is a death sentence. Is a, you know. A horrible answer. It's more than just a no, and we'll try something else. It's it's a the biggest no you can get. Sherry McIntyre heard about Eliza's story through a friend, and I guess it just really hit home with having kids of my own. Um, just the the devastation of that. Um, Even though she doesn't know the O'Neills personally, McIntyre wanted to help. The official bracelets are have been a big hit with the kids around, so I thought this would be kind of a fun way to raise money, um, since everybody was wearing them anyway, raise money for her. Fishtails for Eliza have raised almost $2,000, all to help Eliza and other children suffering from San Filippo syndrome. The O'Neill family says it's these bracelets that have helped Eliza's story gain momentum within the community. These are made by children, you know. Yeah. It, 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 what would you say? It takes a lot of love to make a fishtail, <laughs> yeah. and that's it's, it's the truth. Glenn O'Neill says the family has tried to remain hopeful, but the quiet moments late at night are constant reminders of the tough road ahead. You know, it, it's hard because sometimes your mind, you don't want it to drift, but sometimes it drifts to the future. It's really hard. Eliza turns four next week, adding even more urgency to the O'Neill family's race against the clock as they fight to save their daughter's life. Who's that? Jordan Gujan, Carolina News.